Hello, Mega. Oh god, Mega Crage here. Welcome back to Jack Two. I'm getting shot at. And in the last episode, I got shot at. I honestly forgot. Oh wait, trying to remember what happened last episode, and I fail. Wait, if you really want to know what happened last episode, go back in the last episode, and watch it. But in this episode, I'm going to go towards the marker. And before we go over, I'm gonna run you over. <laughs> before we go over to uh, Kara's workshop place to continue the story, we shall go to the um, place that gives us dark powers. So let's go ahead and do that. And as I jump off this car, I shall be here. Okay, seriously, so go in. We got 200 metalhead things. Let's get a power. Or two. The metalheads have always feared you, angry one. Even now, the metalhead leader realizes you can destroy him and save the last chance for our race. You now have control of another dark power. Dark Blast. You can press circle then X to perform a dark blast. Circle X. <laughs> Which also wastes all your dark power. But, yeah, that's a thing. So, circle and X. You know how you do the uppercut? Yeah, now you could do a dark blast. Which is like a tornado. There he is. Shoot him. You gonna shoot me? Okay. Freeze. Calm your... I, I think they programmed this game wrong. Anyway. We shall go ahead and see Kira now, which leads to another cut. As we arrive here, we went through a lot of metalheads because there's a war going on. And uh, we are not actually going in the shop, we're actually going over here for a mission that I don't like. Which, there's a lot of missions near the end that I don't like. They're good in story, but they're hard. Riders finished, but if my father's right and the ring is somewhere in the metalhead nest, how are we going to get the Rift Rider there to use it? Look, Bruno just knew friends would need lift if metalheaders attack. Bruno, you to me. Lucky balloons are finest lifters in world, but they is easy target. Right, you guys get the Rift Rider to the nest. I'll stay here and defend your takeoff and getaway. Once again, being your friend sucks. I want to go in the balloon. You keep stadium safe while we prep balloon for lift away. Oh no, here they come! Metal Haggers! Face did not go with emotion, really. That was awkward. But anyway, yeah, we have to defend both of the Samoses against Metalheads as they carry the theme from the first game. Well, it was never actually in the first game, but. We found it in the first game because we got 100%. Because we're awesome like that. If you didn't get 100%, they still do it. I don't the story assumes that you get 100% at one point. But anyway, the this vehicle. I, I gotta stop explaining. Just kill. What I like to do when I am in a tough situation that you've seen me multiple times is literally just go berserk. This is a long range weapon, so you could shoot from long range. So, rotating your camera a lot will help here because they come from all angles. And I'm collecting more metalheads and I'm killing more metalheads. Just die if you kick and. Okay. I'm wasting all my ammo. And. Okay, let's not use that. This works kind of, or you could just kind of spray it. I got one more hit, I'm dead, but we're pretty much there. They just have to put it on and wait for the cutscene to activate. This is really not a hard mission once you spam. I'm popping away! Must be nice floating away while we die down here! We'll meet near the nest! See you soon, Jack! Be careful! Yeah, Jack! Be careful! Yeah, Jack! Dick. Jack. 
So we're still hearing the we're getting chased by the cops music. Oh god, that is the thing that just happened. I hate those invisible fuckers. Anyway, let's grab a vehicle so we don't get shot and hurt. <laughs> they're saying arrested and they're going against metalheads. I find this fact of life funny. So, we have to go to this oil drum thing nest, which is actually now a new area, so I'm actually going to show the way. I'm not just going to be like, oh, here we are. No, I'm actually going to have to show the way, because I am a good Let's Player, I would like to believe. My view count doesn't show it, but I'm, I'm going to get... Okay, enough of that. Um, so while we're getting shot at and running over... Um, I was about to say Heartless, but... That's a completely different game that I'm doing. Uh, Metalheads. Uh, yeah, there's a lot of them. This is a full-blown out war. And they're just breeding. They're just freaking... They're just there. There's a lot of them there. And I just got hit. And I think we're almost there. I hope. Because it's kind of hard to carry on the conversation with myself. I mean, there's nothing really to talk about except for traveling through these mellow heads and punching them in the face with a car. Hover car, to be exact. Which makes it more badass. Oh! I could bring up my investment in the green screen. Yeah, I'm investing in the green screen. I, g I gotta get my room redone a little bit, but yeah, I'm gonna get a green screen. And I'm gonna have a new weekly series, if you guys are paying attention. It's gonna be... I'm gonna kinda take like sequel itis, but it's not like gonna be direct sequels. It's gonna be more of a old versus new, like nostalgic critic style. Where I analyze two games, either from the series, the old one of the oldest to one of the newest, or a rehash. Let's see which one's better in retrospect. It's not gonna be just oh graphics and gameplay. Like, gameplay is going to be part of it, of course. But I'm not... Graphics is not going to be in it, obviously, because of time. Like, when the games were made. But yeah, so look forward to that. It's going to be story... And all that good stuff. But now, we get to actually advance the story a bit with a cutscene, I... Would like to believe. Core. What's going on? I'm sure you know. Deep down in your darkest nightmares. We've met before, remember? Everything's going exactly as planned. <laughs> Jack! It's the metalhead leader! No, you see. Without the shield wall disrupting my powers inside the city, I am my full potential now. So for the last time, give me the precursor stone! If the city must die, then we all die! Ah! I will find that stone if I have to crush this city one brick at a time! Supreme weapon, Jack. And I made you. Still, any leader worth his salt always has his backup plan. Remember, the first rule in making a bomb is to always make two. No! Okay, I'm going in. Man, what a mess of junk in here! All jumbled coils and switches! Should I unhook the blue wire? Wait a minute, are Otzel's colorblind? Let me just break a few more things and see if anything pops loose. Boom! <laughs> gotcha! Like candy from a baby. We got a stone. Da -ba -ba -da. So yeah, the guy we've been hunting down this whole game dies in like two seconds. Now we have to go kill the guy that killed our guy. But first, we gotta look around, because I think there's still stuff here. 
Or I could be wrong. No, I was right. There's precursor orb there. Uh and I think that'd be it actually. Oh, depending on how, how this game goes, this might actually be the final episode. I, I forgot to mention that, just just saying. I didn't know it was gonna go this quick. But yeah, you find out who the final guy is. Spoiler alert, it's the metalhead leader. Oh. Well, let's scale back down these stairs. Open this. Open this door. I think now's the time to act. The metalheads are so focused on attacking the city, they may have left their nest vulnerable. Jack, you've got to get out to the wasteland and breach the nest barrier any way you can. Maybe if you get inside and take out the metalhead leader, the army will collapse. It's a long shot, but it might be our only chance. So, that's pretty much what we have to do. And we should do it. We're gonna go do it. We're gonna... We're, we're doing it! And I'm not gonna cut since we're practically right there. But, yes. We are... Going to the Metalhead Nest. And finish what the Baron started. We're, we're, we're gonna be heroes. We're gonna kill the Metalhead Leader. And... Yes, the Baron is dead, so our revenge was kind of stolen from us. But yes, we're going to finish this. We're going to finish the fight. Hubbercraft. Um, by the way, um... After this let's play of Jack 2, I'm going to take a little bit of a break from the Jack and Dexter series, just a little bit, for one game. Like, what's going to replace this slot is going to be a different game. I'm not going to spoil what it is. You're going to see it next, whenever I record during this day, or whatever. But... It's going to be a fun let's play, and Steven George from Steven Plays and or Steven Vlog, actually no, and, um, helped me with the, the this uh, decision, which is, uh, it's, it's going to be fun. It's going to be very fun. So, um, but before any of that, we're going way ahead of ourselves. Let's jump on this. Let's jump over here. We're doing some parkour, some climbing. We're gonna punch these metalheads in the fa- Okay. Done. These metalheads are weak but agile, so, yeah. They do things like that. Stop aiming down! What are you doing? Sometimes the auto-aim in this game is a little wonky. But, you get used to it. Even though I continue to yell at the game. But you get used to it. <laughs> And health. Freaking A. Um, I think we're supposed to go this way. Yeah. Oh, hey, big guy. You're gonna die. And you just did. Yeah, wasting ammo that I don't have. Uh, we could go over there. And we kind of have to. I thought there was gonna be a precursor orb somewhere around here. But apparently at the end of the game we don't need it. Which reminds me. For some weird ass reason. Let's go to the secrets. For a little bit. We got 43 collected. We could turn on small head mode. That's about it. If we get 200 we could turn on hero mode. But. For these. Uh, right now we got big head mode. Mirror world and toggle jacks goatee. Which means we take it off or on. But, uh, as we go through the game, we unlock more. As we get more orbs, which there's 200 in the game. In the third game, it's a lot different, which you'll see after the Let's Play that comes after this. If that makes sense. Uh, sorry for that little detour. There isn't much hope now. The 
shield wall destroyed, it's just a matter of time before the metalheads overwhelm us. You should just go through the rift back to your own time, Jack, and get away from this horrible place. I see your point. Come on, Jack. This place is worth fighting for. We'll hold out as long as we can. Farewell. Precursor stone, gun, nest. Light her up, Padre! <laughs> I eat this! That ought to wake him up. Let's go take care of business. What? You mean go in there? Uh, I'm right behind you. Literally, he's like shivering right behind him. So, even though the, the cutscene shows we were up there, we're back down here because programming. Um, let's go up here and, like I said, be oh god damn it. Oh, I think we go this way. So I was over there. On the machine now I'm going this way cuz I'm stupid um which this part is actually kind of complicated so there's a lot of these things which we can shoot in the face and kill and they give us a lot of blue stuff but there's these spiders that don't want to die there's these and then there's those See that thing? Yeah, don't go near it. You do not want to touch it at anything. Because it's like instant kill. I'm not sure if that's true, but it takes a lot of damage. So just try not to cross paths with Jurassic Park over there. And, uh, oh god. And that also closely, not closely, slightly resembles a metalhead in the third game. You know, size form but enough of that oh god I'm gonna turn into you and I'm gonna do this sorry I didn't show off the new power but I kind of was in a dire situation there but let's go this way and hope there's a checkpoint or oh shit usually after the first time I go through an area in a let's play I just kind of speed run the rest of it so I should start speed running, but I also like to be informative. I like to show things only when I'm, you know, at, in that portion of the video where I cut is where I speed run. I'm still recording. It's just that I'm cutting, I'm cutting it out. Okay, so these things are killing me. I'm just gonna, <laughs> I'm just gonna roll right through them because you really don't need to see. Any complications here? I'm just kind of shooting away. Got health. I'm happy. Kind of. There's green lights. It's ominous. It's very scary. But I'm not really worried about that. I'm worried about living. So screw the lights. I got money. The funny thing is, I did get paid today. But I didn't have work today. Like, I'll talk about that in a different time. Right now, we have to be awesome. And you'll see why. Actually, okay. I ran out of that ammo. Okay. Oh, I don't know what I'm doing. That tends to happen a lot. Please die. Oh, I do go this way. Okay. I thought I went a different way. So, yeah, we're in the heart of the nest right now. And we should go deeper into this area. And you brought the precursor stone. Good. The boy will now play his final part. Not this time. Oh, but this child is such a part of this. Such a part of you. Don't you recognize him? The boy is you, Jack. And this place, this is where you began in the future. But how? You were hidden in the past on the hope that you would gain the skills to face me today. But Onan was wrong. Now that you've been altered with Dark Hiko, the stone will never open for you. Your younger self, however, still has the pure gift. He alone can awaken the stone and the precursor entity which sleeps inside. This stone is a precursor? The last precursor egg. 
Ma was clever. He covered his tracks well through time, hiding his last egg from me and building the shield and city to defend it. It has been a long siege, but today I will finally feed on the last precursor life force. Uh, I think you're forgetting one little thing, Metalomaniac. We've got the precursor stone. Not for long. So, uh, yes, this is the last boss battle. Kind of rough, right? Because it is. Uh, what to do is me, uh, first of all, get ammo and avoid metalheads. That's the first step to do all of this. Keep on moving. Because, okay, I tend to run this way because the camera cooperates more, I guess. But,. Just keep on moving when you can shoot him. But especially when he does stuff like that, just keep on moving. Uh, those uh, boxes will regenerate. So you don't have to really worry about waste of ammo. Just make sure you don't waste all your ammo too fast. You gotta be slightly concerted. Okay. I hate getting stuck. But these do not have a uh, health packs. See what I mean by when you stop moving, bad things happen? Yeah, don't stop moving, because then bad things happen. And these heart- not heartless, these metalheads are annoying me. It's the last- it's the last episode of the series, and I'm saying heartless. And, uh, I died. So let's do this one more time, and let's hope I get to that next stage of the boss. So I- I, I tend to stick around, shoot, and when he does that- just go away this is actually a pretty hard boss for the most part and there we go we got ammo we can shoot we, we can also run we can shoot some more kill some uh, metal heads god damn it Skylar by Skylar I mean me because I'm Skylar for anyone who did not know this fun fact um okay screw off please just screw off Okay, uh, yeah, you have to go through all three stages of this boss battle. Like, with no replenishment of the health. I don't know what... Naughty Dog likes to make certain things hard for you. I don't know why they do that, but they do that. So now we're in the second stage, because if you see on the bottom right, there's a uh, health bar that you could look at. He sends out more uh, metal heads, and you got to not die from them which I tend just to you know kick and spam but also on this next stage if you heard that noise he was charging up I think hey screw off thank you oh we've been going around him so much that he's just been chilling but yeah there's those things yeah when he sends those out he sends two but he also has the potential of hitting their, his own Heartless. Metalheads! Metalheads! Too much Kingdom Hearts. Too much Kingdom Hearts in my mind. And I... It was, it's was it been days since I recorded that. Anyway. Uh, he shoots too, but he... He has friendly fire on. Pretty much. And here's the third stage of the boss battle. You get him down to the red point, and he runs after you. You have to run as fast as you can, turn around for a moment, and yeah, he shoots three now. You could just kind of pretty. It's pretty much like the you know wrestle around the chase. Oh god, it's like the chase around the table type of thing in like a movie or maybe in real life. Where he's on one side, you're on the other side. You cannot catch each other, but the difference is you both got projectiles, and sometimes he catches up. Like, see, if you keep on moving, and preferably away, and in the circle, that move doesn't contact well. But if it does contact, you're gonna be a sad panda. 
And I'm just going to waste this. And I'm going to do this. Because I can. I just want to show it off a little bit. Oh! Thanks, camera. See, the camera screws you over in this battle. Oh, you have a big assortment of guns, though. I'm going to use the rest of this. Remember, you can fire and jump at the same time. So if you want to do that while he's doing that purple thing, go right ahead. And square makes you go faster. In my head. So, and it's a, it's kind of like a quick dodge, I would like to think of it. And he's almost dead. He's almost killing me. Okay. And done deal. I'm afraid your Rift Rider must be used to send young Jack here to a place where he will grow up safe from harm. He must become old enough to complete the destiny he has fulfilled today. Wait a minute. It's you. I, I mean, it's me. I have to take him back and watch over him, don't I? Ah, grub roots. Talk about being in the wrong time at the right place. Hey, kid. You take care. Oh, and trust me on this. Stay away from any wumpy nest on your ninth birthday, okay? I sure hope I built this replica right. I don't know if it... It's perfect, Kira. This is the very machine we found, or will find later. What? I just built this. After seeing the first one, I mean. It's based on what I remember from the... Honey, the more you think about it, the more it hurts the head. I'll take good care of the child. And don't worry. I'll be back in time for the celebration. Farewell. Thanks, Samos. Without you... It's funny. The boy won't remember any of this. No. I do remember the light. That was beautiful. <laughs> Your transport is ready, milady. Thank you, Captain Bruder. Come on. We'll be late for the party at Daxter's new place. I've got so much work to do. Besides, it's not my thing. Ten Hut! As the new governor of this city, I ordered the commander of the New Crimson Guard to escort me to an official function. Is that understood? Yes, sir. I mean, yes, ma'am. I mean... You can start rebuilding the city tomorrow. Tonight, we get to celebrate with our new friends. Besides, tough guy, I'm dying to see you dance. Not likely. Welcome to the Naughty Atso, the hippest, happiest, happiest joint in town. Check out the new decor. Ooh, what a big trophy. As if size matters. I bagged that bad boy myself, baby. Onan says she doesn't know who has a bigger head, him or you. We must not forget Vin and all the others who sacrificed their lives to defeat this evil and protect the child. I still can't believe that little boy was me. Better times, huh? You miss him, huh? You know, the kid grows up to be a handsome hero. Hey! That's enough for you, lady! I'm cutting you off! Trust me, she gets real mean when she's like this. What'd she say? Something about rubber tubing and certain parts of your mother. You don't wanna know. Ah! A metalhead! Sig! Sig! I knew that. You're okay. You cherries didn't think some nasty breath giant-sized lizard was gonna keep me from the biggest party in town, did you? I knew you were too tough for him, big guy. You saved the city and more, my boy. Metalcore and his menace are history, and somewhere out there, an ancient race has begun again. I'm just glad to be back home. Yeah, well, rest up. We've got a lot to do, and so much time to do it in. Don't say time. The Rift Ring was destroyed, remember? You know, my mama used to read bedtime stories about Mar when she tucked me in. Give me a nice glass of warm yak cow milk, a little poopsie bear. Bedtime stories? Warm milk? Poopsie bear? Buddy, you just blew your image. 
I've got a feeling we'll meet Mars someday. He may be closer than you think. You're the designated driver. Oh, no. I am done with adventure. Besides, you'll tell us before something happens next time, right, Samos? Right, Samos? You never know what the future may hold. Wait. You know something, don't you, Feather Breath? Who? Me? Ah, uh, no. We're just uh, guessing, right, Samos? Hey, Varro, only time will tell. No, you're gonna tell right now! Why <laughs> you little Why you? Oh, oh, my boy. Oh, that's my feet. That's my feet. Watch your pants. Jack, my boy. A future awaits. In memory of Morgan. That's kind of depressing. But that's the end of the game. It was created by Naughty Dog. And people. No, just kidding. Uh, um. Where do I start? Um, this has been personally fun for me to do and edit. There was not a lot to edit, really. I could have added a lot more, but I didn't. S like, Jack 2 and Jack and Dexter are two completely different games. Same storyline, but two completely different games. Except for, you know, Jack still has the... No non-weapon moves, but it's set it's set up differently. Obviously, it's very obvious. Jack and Dexter is more like a Mario 64, and Jack 2 is more like a Grand Theft Auto, like I would say. But this this was a n nice project. Again, I'm gonna take a break from Jack and Dexter and do another game before I do Jack 3. So hold on a little bit. Jack 3 is gonna happen. Just not right now. Um, that's not. There's not much to say. I gained a few followers, or not followers. Gained a few subscribers and people who want to watch me throughout this. Not as much as I would want, but you know everybody wants more. But 27 as of yesterday. Actually, as of today. Um, is not a lot. You know, when you're giving effort in your videos, it kind of sucks. But there's so many videos on YouTube. It's just I'm I'm still buried in there. You 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 gotta go through all the laundry to find that one pair of sock that matches with your other pair of sock. Weird analogy, I know, but it's very true. Oh, and it's kind of cool how they had the fireworks in the uh, background of this. Um, credit sequence when in the last in the last game it was like Dark Eco it was kind of like the whole flowing motion type of background and the third one is hasn't nothing like it well the music and the text is the same but the background ain't but yeah this was a fun game to do um, oh yeah, so about my work situation that I was going to talk about before, apparently, uh, they, they have a new guy, and so I'm going to be taking off a little bit, so then, uh, they could train the new guy, and then uh, my schedule might change, I'm not sure, I hope I don't get five, that would suck, because then my income is nothing, unless if I get more subscribers here, and more watchers, then my income becomes something. But at the moment, it's nothing. Except for this one job I have to grind. Um, but yeah. That's the credits. That's the game. A very eventful game. I didn't think there was... Like, once we got to the Samos, I realized what mission it was. I'm like, oh. Final part, I guess. So, yeah, this... Also, this game wasn't as long. Like, in, in reality, it wasn't long at all compared to Jack and Dexter. But there's a lot to do in Jack and Dexter if you want to get 100%. In this game, all you have to do is go through the missions. Like, you can go to, uh, you know, get all the uh, Percursor Orbs, which I only got. Oh, sorry, I'm tired. 
I only got one force of <coughs> all of them. But, actually, not even one force. But, <coughs> that's another talk for another day. Actually, no, it's not, because it's not going to happen. I knew I was not going to get all the precursor orbs. But, uh, I'm trying to think of things to talk about. Um, here you go. Hirako Sato, what guy, right? Oh, the director, the voice, you know, Yoji Shimu, Shimizi, Shimizi, Shimuzi, eh. that guy's pretty cool. Tamakzu Kirita. I had lunch with him once, and I'm just kidding. I, I was totally bullshitting. Um, and then there's American guys like John and Lauren and Sam and Steve O'Neill and Dave Parkinson. That is a horrible last name. Jim K. And not by horrible by uh, how it sounds, but by what it means. <coughs> oh, God. Oh. I like to mention. I got Super Mario Sticker, Sticker Star in the mail yesterday. And I played, like, the beginning of it. And I like how it's pretty much... It it's, seems like it's just like the first one for the 64. But I haven't played a lot of it. It's just that Toad Town. But it, it's set up like it. Except when you go into places, it doesn't do the whole camera rotation. It actually fades into it and it loads and it comes back. I want to do more 3D. I want to do more handheld games. I want to do a 3DS game. But. Da, 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 da. Okay, but. uh, I need the money to get a uh, 3DS capture card. Because apparently there are like 200 and something dollars. Which is crazy. Like if I saved up the money I could get that. But I have to spend money on things. That basic life needs. And stuff and what not. So a capture card. For a 3DS. I only have a few games for. Would be a little bit out of my reach. Now. To have like a better capture card than I have now. For like some around the same price. I'll consider it more because I have a lot more games for every other system than I do for the 3DS. It only makes sense. Video editing, I want, I want to be the video editor for Naughty Dog. That would be amazing. I'm going to college for that shite. It's going to be amazing. Anyway. Yeah, after the credit sequence, it's everything's back to normal. We're, we're just here. Metalheads aren't terrorizing the town. And we're just here. See, I, I hate these moments in games where you finish them, and then they just throw you back into it, and you're just like, Well, now what do I do? That was an, that was an epic storyline. And now it's just... I'm here. Yeah. So, I guess if you like this episode, or if you like the series, thumbs up. If you want to see more from me, subscribe. And until next time, till next Let's Play, Mega Crage, signing out.